Hey there, my name is Kate Fakel. And I'm Kim Ackerman, aka Mom. And welcome to Craft Beer Fridays in my Tattoo Diaries. <laughs> Welcome to part two of this little mini series. Obviously my mother is here for a reason. We have matching page tattoos on our ribs, which we will get to here in a little bit. But first, beverages. What are you drinking on? What am I drinking on? Yeah. I'm drinking on this Godiva chocolate liqueur. Mm. But today I'm gonna to be reviewing Cherry at the Y. This is from Y Bridge Brewing Company. They're located in Zanesville, Ohio. Shout out to Gerald for shipping this to me. That is awesome. There is no ABV on this can, so I have no idea how strong this is, but never heard of this brewery. I think they just opened in August of 2017, so fairly new. I'm excited to try it, but this is a big old boy right here. I used to work in Zanesville. Oh, lovely. <laughs> And I realized I should have used this glass in my first episode because this was the beer that I drank then. I forgot that I had a Jack Yo's. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit this all in here. Yeah, there's still a little bit. Ta-da! That is some strong tart cherry right there. You want to try it? No. Yeah. I know you're not a beer drinker, but you might like this. I just smell beer. What? No, she she's crazy. Well, I smell cheers. Beer. <laughs> it's got kind of a... An iron steel taste might be coming from a, the can, maybe sanitary, sanitizer type deal. Iron. That's always what I want in my beer. How about some liqueur coffee? Yeah, there you go. I get the cherry more on the nose rather than the mouth, uh, but it's got a medium body. That head is really fluffy, so I like that. Overall, good beer. It's probably way better on draft. Um... I don't hate it. I just smell more cherry than I taste. Also, shout out to the guys at Ybridge on Facebook because they shared my post from Crappy Fridays. So, cheers to that. I would totally drink this again. I think just the first initial taste for me was kind of like an off flavor. But the more you drink it, the flavors develop. That heavy cherry nose smell and then kind of a medium body. But obviously, it pours super dark. But I'm okay with it. Yeah, super dark. Mm-hmm. We got our page tattoos at Fusion Tattoos, but they recently sh changed the shop name to just Fusion Tattoo and I guess moved down the street just a little bit. They're located in Grove City. I got mine done by Looney, but she doesn't remember who her tattoo artist was. But Looney did my foot tattoo as well, so these are the two that I got done from him. I think I paid $50 because usually $50 is minimum for most tattoos but I probably tipped or something as well. Do you remember how much you paid? No. Did it probably take like a half hour? Cause it was, it's a really small tattoo. Probably, but did I get mine the day before? I think, yeah. So we got them technically two different days, but they're matching-ish. Ish. Ish. No, they have the same name. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the same name. So Paige is both of our middle names, and we also have a cousin, shout out Cena, who has the same middle, ma middle name, but we can't convince her to get a tattoo. No. What was your pain level with yours? I didn't find it uncomfortable at all. It was horrible. No. Well, was she also like, had a different artist. It was like a razor blade to the ribs. And I gave birth to that. Hey. Now. It was uh, you're, horrible. You're saying that the, a little baby tattoo of Paige was worse than giving birth? I think so. What? Oh my gosh. That's over dramatic. <laughs> The meaning of our tattoos, though, that's the important part. So mine, I'll put mine up right here. Paige obviously has a cute little heart because we love each other most of the time. Mm, yeah, most of the time. And I got an anchor, you know, not trying to be a complete white girl, but because she holds me down, so she's kind of like the anchor Stability. to... Yeah, exactly. Not like she sinks me, but, you know, she keeps... <laughs> That's nice. Sink or swim. <laughs> a lovely thought. No. And then I have the lifeline because she's my lifeline. The heartbeat. She, yes. And I'm also a nurse, so it all mm -hmm. all applies to. Yeah, that. all ties in. Yes. So nurse and I'm the light of her. I keep her alive, and I also will probably be the death of her as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, so in the uh, end, it's like a <laughs> flat line yes. because of daughter. Yes, right. I didn't do it. I swear. <laughs> Alive, dead. Yeah. <laughs> 
I can see that. <laughs> hey, oh. you just said something about me holding you down, so I guess... Well, we're going to be the death of each other yep. then. And then before we're done, I'm going to take like little shots of what they look like now. You won't see your whole stomach. Ew. They got to see what it looks like now. Why? Because that's the whole point. Like they're going to, I'm going to throw up pictures of what it used to look like, but they got to see what it looks like now. I don't need to see what it looks like. It looks horrible now. That's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on, I got to burp again. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching today's video. Obviously this is part two of my little tattoo diaries mini series. My mom might be on another episode because we may or may not have another matching tattoo together. So you not really matching. We just went together. We didn't went together. So, should she come back? She should totally come back, right? Yeah, for sure. Leave a comment if you think my mother should come back in our oh, in our next one because she loves this so much. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, life is too short to drink bad beer. In the court.